Hi, Hi. Yes, Hello. 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 Okay, well, <laughs> for my question, uh, do you intend to aim this project at all forms of Sonic fans, whether hardcore like myself or casual ones, even like my young cousin? Because then he's gonna get everyone smile. Okay. Um. I mean, I, you know, I think the answer is, uh, you know, I think yeah, I think you want to try and make something that appeals to the hardcore fan and like and someone who can be introduced to this version of Sonic through this as well. Um, so I think, yeah, I think there's a, a, a an attempt to keep the appeal broad but also authentic, if that makes sense. Yeah, because Arc Show yeah. is it's not like a new show where you're trying to develop. Okay, what who are we going to uh, cater to or whatever? Right. You're not, we're not making Sonic Prime. Yeah. Um, we're making a continuation to another show. Uh, with that in mind, even though we're doing another show, we do do things to try to incorporate, you know, a little more of a broader audience while not being disrespectful to the original show at all. Yeah. I mean, we've got Mina Mongoose in there as a cameo. So obviously we're always thinking about that. Yeah. Not to mention also so many themes present in uh, the broader full set M series are really timeless and if nothing else even more relevant these days yeah absolutely the nature versus the horrible pollution and machining of the world kind, yes. <laughs> yeah. we want to draw on whoever we can i mean like anywhere from hardcore fans just casual to even just people who just stumble by that's what we want to draw in i mean it's no secret out there i I'm not a fan of the Sonic franchise. I don't like anything Sonic besides this one show. Like, it's it's well known. I've said that multiple times. I actually can't stand Sonic. But I like Saturday AM. So, <laughs> that's why. It's like, I actually did not know that. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't know? I, I, well, a lot of people do know anyways. But I really don't like the franchise. Um, oh, it's one of a kind. But, <laughs> but I like the one show. That's why I'm doing this. So if I can, if we can attract the audiences from all over, it's fine. But I'm just trying to put myself as an example of, you know, you don't have to be hardcore. You don't have to even like the Sonic franchise in general to, we want to draw that, those people in. So it's it's not just for people who like Sonic. We're trying to draw them into the overall cartoon. You make a good show. You make a good story, you know. It's, a, that's, it's that's, going yeah. to matter a lot more. That that's why I like, that's, that's to why I like Saturday M. I never yeah. played the games. I didn't like the other cartoons. I like Saturday M because it was a good story. It was a good cartoon. The overall point of it was good. And that's what we want this to be. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me so excited when I see like the people in the chat here that weren't even born yet. Or someone that's like, I just discovered you today and yeah. I'm going to watch the whole series. And I'm like, yes, please do. Because... You know, people I do find in this franchise are so concerned about canon. This canon's correct. That's canon's correct. But you just love it all. Like, find pieces of it that matter to you. Because every generation is going to be like, my Sonic is the best. Mm -hmm. My Sonic is the best. And, like, no, it's just Sonic. Like, Sonic is magical no matter what generation you choose to be a part of. So just be open-minded and try to enjoy every piece mm -hmm. of it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Sonic Prime. Yeah, show. And, uh... I sorry. was sorry, dear. I was able to connect with Devin, who is a great guy. And like, if I had been like, nope, Jaleel White's the only Sonic for me, I would never have had the opportunity to speak with him or have him do a voiceover for one of our cartoons. So be open minded. Go ahead, Tim. I'm so sorry I'm talking too much. Oh, it's just fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. And you don't have to love like all aspects of Sonic either. I mean, I don't like Sonic Boom at all. I, I thought that show just, mm, it irked me so much, but I don't Here, I have any like disrespect. 
I, not a fan. <laughs> I don't have any I, disrespect for people who do like it. That's the point. So, okay. And uh, Sonic it's like, Boom. Oh, I'm so, can I say something real quick, Tim? Yeah. Okay. Sonic Boom. I could not stand it when it first came out. I was like, I was like, uh, uh-uh, this isn't Sonic. You know, this isn't my Sonic. I was like, this isn't Sonic because I felt like they changed him so much from what he was. He just like he didn't feel like the same character. I couldn't. You're stand a it. Sonic Boom girl was, though. You're a Sonic Boom girl, and or no, Sonic X girl. And I, I always thought like Sonic, oh, Sonic, Sonic X is the worst. No, you're okay. You know what? You're you're not part of the family anymore. No, just kidding. Okay, so um, Sonic Boom. I thought like I was like this is this is not a good interpretation of Sonic, and and that was like that was like the Sonic at the time, and I didn't like that it represented him. But after the movies came out, and we started seeing like Prime, and we started seeing like I, I what I felt was like a better like interpretation of Sonic. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna watch Sonic Boom for what it is, a Sonic sitcom. And then I was able to actually enjoy it. I was cackling throughout so many of the episodes because some of those jokes are top tier. But yes, that is my tidbit. Sorry, Tim, go ahead. <laughs> well, to each their own. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, let's be real, guys. Let's be real. He's a cartoon blue hedgehog. Yes. So it's like none of this matters <laughs> so much that you should have like you should have hate <laughs> towards somebody else or disrespect towards somebody because they like something that you don't like from the Sonic franchise. I mean, it's an entertainment mm-hmm. franchise. If they're entertained by it, it succeeded. So like yeah, don't Archer. get so hyped up about stuff like that. Everybody's got their own tastes and that's okay. We I'm all like sure. Are sections of the Sonic franchise. On the one hand, that's very true. On the other hand, I'm still actually having trouble getting over the fact that Sonic is a blue cartoon hedgehog. Like, this is actually literally the first time I've ever heard this. What are you talking about? He doesn't look like a hedgehog. I've got, <laughs> I've got some news for you, Eric. I'm very sorry. Yeah, clearly you have some news for me. You just said. I just, See, all I'm this time, we fight. all See this time, we... I just, my life has just changed irreversibly. <laughs> like there you go like everyone here has their own tastes very clearly and, and ideas of uh, yes of what they like about sonic and yet we all still uh love that amp uh it is yes. a very universal uh universally um approachable uh you know iteration and uh we expect the, whatever we put forth will be uh, easily appreciated by anyone. Well you know, said. We are creating art mm. for the community by the community. So, so things come and go, yeah, but it's, it, we will solidify this amazing artifact in time. So this is amazing. It doesn't matter which canon you prefer. This is a community project, and you can have your own piece of Sonic with us if you want to go on the journey. 